This is a brand new Lodge 10 inch deep camp Dutch oven. Picked that up directly from the Lodge factory store up in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. This is the very first cook in it. What we are doing is one of our giant Dutch oven cinnamon rolls. The cinnamon roll is actually coiled up underneath that. That was uh, extra cinnamon and butter and pecans that, that I dump on top. And these things are delicious. So this is actually, I've only done this twice and I wanted to do it again as a practice run because we have another big camp coming up where I'm gonna be hosting a big barbecue. And one of the requests was one of these giant Dutch oven cinnamon rolls. So I'm gonna to try to be a little bit more delicate with this cook versus how I've done it before. What I have learned is when anytime you're doing any kind of desserts or just say bread, bready type of dishes, but especially like cakes, biscuits, any kind of thing with dough, just gotta be careful about how much heat you're putting into it because you can burn it really easily. Last, last one I cooked, bless you. Last one I cooked, it was good, but I thought that I kind of charred it a little bit. It was delicious that way. Everybody liked it, but of course it wasn't as pretty on top because it was kind of burnt on the top of it. Um, but you can do the same thing on the bottom, especially with all that brown sugar and butter in there, it'll burn. So we've got six coals on the bottom. I'm probably gonna have a few extra out here like this, just kind of around the perimeter. And then I wanna put, I think it's 10 or 11 on the top of it. Put that one down there. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Our very first cook, see a lot of times they break like that. So those I usually just kind of put down. And the reason why I like using charcoal briquettes is because they're all a uniform size, so you get an even heat from the charcoal. You can use real wood charcoal, and it works just fine, but this works just fine, and I think it works better only because you can regulate the heat better using briquettes than you can different size lump charcoal. But you can build you a fire and just scoop the coals right up out of the fire and cook that way with it. That's how this was kind of designed. That's how the the old timers did it back in the day. So I'm just kind of even them out there. So I think that's going to be pretty good. Let's see how many I got up there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I got twelve of them up here. I think we're going to leave it just like that. We'll leave it around the perimeter because it radiates the heat down into the pot. And see these out here? I'm just kind of spreading them out in a circle around it, just to kind of help create more heat out around the pot like this. Cowboy Kent Rollins, the way he likes to do it is they use real wood charcoal and they use a shovel and they go around the pot like that. They usually don't put any underneath it. And there's the sirens. That scared me. <laughs> okay. I like to keep up with my cook, with my timer. I'm just gonna hit start. And I can't remember exactly how long we cooked this, but it's probably gonna cook for, I would say, between 30 and 45 minutes probably is how long this is gonna cook. But I just kind of gauge it by sight. And once it, it'll puff up, it'll, it'll rise. That's why I like using the deep oven because it'll rise, it'll be real puffy. So we're gonna close the lid of the grill. It helps keep all the heat inside here. That's another reason I like using this old grill. Are you on? Yeah, yeah. Testing? Testing, yeah. Testing Mike. Testing one, two, good to go. Yeah. All right. I think I'll join you right here. Oh, I just brushed my teeth. Now you can brush them later. No, it's the taste of it. Gonna have us some Coors. Oh, the taste of, you just brushed ah. your teeth. With so beer. like fluoride and minty mixed with beer. It is not a good combo. Not the best combo right there. <laughs> this is why you should have a snack around you all the time. You can, you can wash down. <laughs>
I got the a teeth snack. Brushing taste. I got oh. a snack cooking in the grill over there. It's called a giant cinnamon roll. I hate that you're making it. Well, it's a test run. I'm really well, excited. you want to tell them why we're here? You want to start this off? I uh, no, you go ahead. Well, I've kind of already started it off. I wanted to, we doing a test run on the giant cinnamon roll for an upcoming uh, trip that we were going to talk about um, because I've only done it a couple times. I want to do it again. Uh, this is something that Abby and actually her mom and Twig has helped make this before because it's kind of a, it's kind of a process to make it. It's not that hard. It just takes a little bit. We're getting better at it. This one was easy. This one, we, it went quick. Yeah. The last one, it took like, I don't know, probably a half hour to put it together. Yeah. But it's delicious. So you take ready dough from the freezer section of the grocery store. It's like frozen dough. It's and a red package, just. Yeah, so you take the dough and you cut it into like four pieces. You have to thaw it out. And then you take that and you roll it into ropes. You got to butter it, roll it into like long skinny ropes. And you then we- You can kind of stretch it. Yeah, you got to kind of stretch it. it very well, so. Yeah, and then you take and you mix it together, butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, and then we like to uh, crush pecans with it. And we'll take that, we'll have a plate, and you just kind of roll that rope into it. Then you take the Dutch oven and you just start coiling it up inside until you have a full coil. And then whatever you have left, as far as the butter and the, and the, and the mixture, That's mix the all part. that up, dump it on top of it because yeah. you can't have too much in there. And you really can't mess it up. It's, kids can do it. I mean, yeah. it, it is a fun dish for the family to do. And then you, you cook it just any way you want to cook it with a Dutch oven. And it's the delicious dessert that, that you, you know, you make yourself at home. It's, it's pretty good. So, um, it was requested that we do the giant cinnamon roll on this upcoming trip. So yep. I told Abby, I said, I'd like to do a trial run. So it's Sunday, uh, it's Sunday fun day. We did some work on the Kodiak today to get it ready for the uh, trip. We fixed the steps. Should be a separate video on that out there. I am ready to go on this trip. I'm ready to go camp. Yeah, this is going to be a fun trip. We did this trip last year, uh, almost exactly a year ago. I'm, I'm calling it our annual spring trip. Yeah like spring break trip. So first place we're gonna head up to is up in Mississippi. We're going to Clark Easterlings again, uh, Windy Hill Foundry, and there's gonna be a group of YouTube guys and non-YouTube guys as well that are getting together that are interested in the foundry work where, where, you, uh, where you make a sand mold and then you melt cast iron and, or iron and then you pour it into a mold and you actually cast a piece and this is the third year in a row that Clark has uh, invited folks up to do this, a little get together. It's a great time of year to do it because the weather is not hot yet. And they have a beautiful piece of property out yes, there in the country do. of Mississippi. So we're gonna be doing that. There, there'll, ship, there'll probably be a video over on A-Bomb 79 of uh, this year's event. I'm not planning on doing a whole lot as far as the, the ramming of the sand, making a sand mold and then pouring it. I just want to go there and visit, hang out with the guys. I'm going to get some video of the action. And uh, hopefully this year we're going to be pouring some iron because last couple of years, Clark was having some difficulty with the uh, furnace not working right. And I didn't get a lot of video to share. But uh, so anyway, we're going to be doing that. And then after Windy Hill Foundry, we are headed back to Arkansas, back to the White River I'm up in so Bull Shoals. I'm so glad. I think that's my favorite campground. Wait, I shouldn't say that. It's one of our top, it's our, it's my favorite. It's one of our most <laughs> favorite state park campgrounds that we have ever stayed uh, at. It is so, so beautiful. beautiful. And it is like the epic time of the year to yes. go. It's still, when we were there last year, it was cold still. I, I froze to death out on the river that one day. I mean, I was just shivering. But we remedied that was, this time. We, we stocked up on, a, I, I ordered some long johns from, <laughs> from Amazon. Yep. So I got some long johns. I've got like a full face thing. I got gloves. He's not going to be cold so this time. That not, so I don't freeze to death this time. But we really love that campground up there at White, uh, the White River. It's the White River State Park campground. Bull Shoals, isn't it? Yeah, it's called, I think it's called Bull Shoals White, White River, River State Park yeah. is what it is. And it is just gorgeous. It's a big campground. They have a lot of sites there. It's another one of those places that's become real popular. So you gotta like book ahead, you know. I feel like and Arkansas is one of those states that people don't think of going that much, but it is absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. They call it the natural state. And there's a reason. For, for a reason that yes. we're gonna get to that again uh, uh, soon here. 
but like I've tried to tell my mom and her and her sisters, my aunts, about going up there because they all like to travel and camp. And uh, I think a couple of them might even end up watching this video, but I've been trying to tell them, like, you guys need to go out here and see this place because y'all y'all have no idea how great it is. All of my uncles love to fish. You can go down there to the shore and just fish right off the bank if you want to, or you can go down there to the uh, the bait shop, uh, you know, whatever it is right there on the river, and you can rent a boat if yep. you want to. Rent, rent your own. They have the little, the little river boats. Rent that and go up and do some trout fishing. Or and, go to Gaston's. Yep. Go to Gaston's and stay at the lodge. And, They'll take you out fishing. Uh, rent, do the boat rental from there. It's yep. so lovely. There's a lot of them along that river, and when we were fishing, we actually saw... Uh, several other resorts along the White River. So it's not just Gaston's, there's no. a bunch of them. But you can go there and uh, if, if you don't have all the gear, you can just go to a place like Gaston's and say, hey, I wanna go fishing. You pay a fee, they have a guide, they take you out on the river and they do. They take you fishing. You come back, if you want them, they'll clean them for you, put them in a bag and you can put them in your freezer and take them home with you. Yep. So it's, uh, it's a great time, it's a beautiful place and we really enjoyed our time. Her dad always liked to go fishing here every year. Yeah. And this uh, this past year, they invited us to come up to go fishing with them. And we we, lo we loved it, we had a great time. And they invited us back again this year. They said, hey, come up. And then this year they're like, hey, do you think A-Bomb will do some barbecue for us? <laughs> I hyped him up so much, now he has to do it. Sorry, babe. But I'm not sorry, because they're gonna love it. Yeah, so we decided to do, we're going to do two barbecues this time. And I'm um, looking forward to this. It's going to be, I, I'm always nervous about this because, because I, you know, I want to, I want everything to be good and delicious. I don't want to cook something that's bad and people aren't going to enjoy. But um, the, the first day we're going to do a big rib, rib and chicken dinner. Um, I'm going to take my pit barrel and we bought a bunch of Duroc baby back ribs so we're gonna have a bunch of ribs we're gonna have some chicken in there compart ribs yeah the com compart mm -hmm. that's right and uh, have a big barbecue we're gonna do some camp oven cooking there as well I'm gonna do a peach cobbler homemade peach cobbler that that day and uh, camp oven vegetables as well oh darn and then uh, then we're gonna do some fishing and another another day in the middle of the week they wanted to get together and do some like a steak dinner and what we landed on was how about we get a prime rib roast and do a prime rib roast in the pit barrel and uh, we got we're going to get some fillets as well for abby and whoever else wants would rather have a little steak and we're going to grill some steaks and uh, so i got that order from the butcher shop we're going to get a uh, five rib prime grade rib roast and uh, hopefully I can pull that off. You will. And uh, hopefully everybody's gonna love it. And that's the day we're gonna do the big cinnamon roll uh, yep. as well. So we're excited about that. Um, yeah, we none just, of them will leave hungry, for we just, sure. We love camping there. We do. We love Arkansas. Every time we go to Arkansas, we just love everything about it. Yeah. So we, we just really enjoy going there. I feel like I'm the one rambling on here. I'm glad you are. Oh, you are? I am. You don't have anything to say? No, you've done really well so far. <laughs> oh, I have? Okay. Are we gonna tell them where we're going after? Or are we going to leave it a secret? I think maybe you should just go ahead and tell them. That's kind of what this is about right here. We do like to kind of keep our travels kind of on the quiet level until after we've already done them because we just, you know, I know we put ourselves out there on Instagram and YouTube, but we don't necessarily want everybody to know where we're going to be going to. Like yeah. we, we like to enjoy our time and then put the content out and show you where we went and, you know, and the good times that we had yep. doing that. But we are really excited. So uh. after <laughs> the White River, this is a place that I didn't even know anything about, didn't know it existed. Abby's the one that knew all about this, and she's the one that brought it up, and she's like, hey, can we go... To the Crater of Diamonds State Park in Arkansas. That's it. <gasps> She you, is so excited. Sir, I, I am like, I'm the dinosaur video. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> dinosaur yes. Uh, National Monument. Yeah. I was level 800 and I am at 800, 800 again. Yeah. So basically you go out into a field that they plow on a regular basis and you get to actually search for diamonds. Yep. And lots of other gemstones, which some people go, they're not interested in those, but I cannot wait to yep. get those. So it, I, we've never done this. I've searched for gems before, but never like this. So I've never, I've never done 
uh, any kind of mining, I guess, it, it, you know, uh, what do you call that, panning? Yeah. You know, like, I've never done the gold. We uh, we watched a couple videos we did. on uh, YouTube, some other people that have gone up there recently and done it. And I don't know anything about gems and, and, and diamonds. I, I can't, I know what a diamond is, but all the other ones, I'm not really familiar with the names of all of them. But so there's a lot of different type of minerals and gems that you can find there while you're, uh, you know, you're panning for, for Amethyst, diamonds. Amethyst, quartz, chrome diopside, agate, uh, garnet. What was the green spinel, one? Spinel, the a... chrome diopside. Oh, okay. See, I don't um, know what all that stuff is. I, I there's don't... a lot of different kinds. I cannot wait to get my hands in that dirt. <laughs> Abby is super excited about that. That's the kind of stuff that she likes. You're, you're into those kind of things. You I like am. you like the rocks, the minerals, the gems, the diamonds, all the different colors. So we are going to go there for a couple of days so that Abby can go try to find her a diamond. And I sure hope that she finds one. <laughs> they said that it's kind of tough to find yep. one, but um, they do find. I think there's been like 30,000 of them that have been found since they opened the park in 1972. But, I mean, seriously, you just don't get this kind of opportunity, you know, all that much. And so it's... It's really, really exciting. Yeah, apparently whatever you find out there, you can keep. Yeah. There's been people that have found some big diamonds out there. Yeah. And you, whatever you find, you get, you get to keep. And There's we are rookies. I mean, we are not. We know what to do, sort of. Um, but we're just going to give it a try. That's what you got to do. Just dive right in. Well, that's why we watch the videos of the yeah. other YouTubers. So we kind of get an idea. We're going to take some buckets. I think we're going to take a shovel. But apparently they rent everything that you need there. The uh, the sieves, they... they, um, they they rent those, Yep. but we're going to take a few things that we think we need to be able to do this. And then, you know, they have a whole area there uh, with the water so that you can, you know, sift and uh, they want you to sift the dirt and then you can take home. I don't remember how many use they said six. You, uh, they, you can take up to five, five gallon buckets home, Okay. but it has to be of sifted material. Yeah, you got to sift the you dirt. You cannot just pile dirt into the bucket and then leave. Yeah, they don't want you taking the dirt away. Right, but, so. So we, so we watched some video on how to do yep. it. So that's what we're going to do. We'll probably bring a few buckets back and then um, Abby can start going through it and seeing if she found her diamond. It's a multi-step process that I yeah. cannot wait to do. And like I said, we will go through all of it because I didn't really find a video of what I was exactly looking for, like what kind of equipment you can rent and that kind of thing. So we're going to try to go through it all yeah. because we yeah. are excited but rookies. <laughs> well, Abby brought up a good point. She goes, I'm searching YouTube and there's nothing out there on what, what you need to bring or what's available to bring. And the couple of videos we watched were just kind of, you know, they, they weren't really that well done. So she wants to do a video to kind of inform you guys or whoever else is going to end up watching them as to what you can expect whenever you get out there, what you can rent or maybe what you need to bring and what you can rent out there. Well, know? a lot of time when you, you know, when you think about renting, you don't necessarily get good things. But mm -hmm. so far what I've read is that the things that you can get there are actually really pretty good. And I mean, if yeah. you're not going to start gem mining all the time, then you don't need to go buy the sifters and things like that, especially if you decide to fly in or whatever. So yeah. we'll try to make as in-depth video about as we can about what to expect. But we can't wait. I yeah. I am freaking out. Yeah, we're <laughs> real excited about it. We're I mean, it's, once we get through with the you know our, our week at the White River, we're going to be going and doing that, and and we're just really excited about it. It's going to be a great opportunity. I'm excited about getting some video to share with you guys out there. You know, it's just something that I'm passionate about doing and sharing our travels and our journeys. So, uh, looking forward to it. It's coming up real soon. Yeah, we're we're going to be getting. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure when this video is going to launch, but this coming up week is when we're going to be leaving heading to Mississippi. So I'm excited. We're going to be gone about two and a half weeks on this on this trip. And we're almost ready. The camper's almost all packed. Yep. Uh, a lot of it ends up having to be done kind of at the last minute, but we make lists and yep. so we don't forget anything, leave anything we want. So I'm ready to camp. Yep, me too. Well, I think that's going to be about it for the, the, the upcoming spring trip. Um, we wanted to do this because the last, the, the previous patio chat video, there was a lot of great comments from you guys. And there's a lot of people that said, we love this. This should be a, you know, a regular thing that you guys do. So we appreciate the feedback. Yeah. Um, we appreciate all of the positive 
comments and feedback we get on this channel. Yes. Uh, all the places that we go, it's a lot of work to make these videos, to, to capture them, to download all of it, to edit it and get it out there on YouTube. And it's something fun that I like to do. I like to share our adventures. And uh, I, I just appreciate whenever you guys leave positive feedback to let us know what you think of the, of the videos, you know? They really do. So there was a lot of people that wanted more patio chat. So that's why we're here. More patio chat. But this is what we want to talk about. Was I Arkansas hope they're ready trip. to listen to me complain for a minute. All right, go it's ahead. It's probably going to be like 10 minutes. I'm going to try not to rant. You're going to have to cut me off. Oh, that's right. We had a rant. We did have a rant. I almost forgot about that. Can you tell them what happened, please? <laughs> okay, so I'll start this off. Please do. When you go to the theater or you go to a concert, in, you know, specifically, I think it's common etiquette that when you go to a performance to watch somebody, that this we're not talking about a football game or a basketball game. We're talking about a concert where you're listening to a performer sing and perform. It, maybe it's a symphony, you're gonna listen to a symphony, or you're going to the movie theater to watch a movie. You don't want people behind you talking all loudly in your ear and being rude and obnoxious and inconsiderate of everybody around them. It's just plain rude and it's inconsiderate and it's pro it's not proper etiquette to um, whenever you're at the theater. So when you go and you pay good money to go watch a performer sing or you or put on a show, you, yeah, it would be nice. you, need, to, you need to be <laughs> respectful of the people around you. We're not saying don't talk because that's, you know, we can't say don't talk, but keep it down. Keep yeah. it down, talk quietly to each other. If you're struggling to hear the artist uh, play his instrument or her. Keep in mind that I mean, when, that's... You're, when you're in those kind of situations in a theater, the people in front of you are literally right here in front of you. They are right in front of you because they pack you in there like sardines. So you got two people like us that we're sitting here talking just like we are, that's what was happening behind, directly behind Abby. There was two women right here, and they could not give a damn about what was going on with Aaron Lewis at this concert. They were chatting it up. They were talking about everything that had nothing to do with a concert that they can talk yeah. about any time outside of the theater. If you want to sing theater. at the top of your lungs, I am totally fine with that. Like, That's If different. you're there for the concert and you're in it, that is awesome. The only song that they knew that they sang was outside. And because they, they didn't know anything gone, about Aaron Lewis and his country looking music. Looking back on this, babe, I should have just given them like 50 bucks and been like, will you please just go to the bar? Like, that's what I should have done. <laughs> Dang. So but that's not what I did. So that's what happened. <laughs> and then, and then as soon as they walked up, I mean, they were just uh, the two guys on either side of them that was with them. They were the same way. They're all talking and there's people walking by and they're like, oh, hey, what's up, man? And they're hollering. And Aaron Lewis is down here trying to perform and he's singing. And it's annoying because we're there to enjoy ourselves. Lance and Laura was with us. They were annoyed by it as well because their their voice was right here. Gosh. So Abby finally had enough and she turned around. And I think the first time you asked, can you keep it down? Can you please keep can it down? Can you please keep it down? And, the, and, and they were giving you the looks like, and what? then they mumbled about me the whole rest of, you know, the yeah. whole. So we were trying to listen to Aaron sing and they were doing the same thing. They were back there just talking, just talking. It was as loud as can be, not a quiet voice, but loud. She finally turned around and was like, will you be quiet like that? <laughs> and then that girl started popping off at Abby. She's like, excuse me, I am not an effing child, you know? Kind of seemed and, like she was. And I turned around because I was like this and I turned around and I yelled at her. I said, we're here to listen to Aaron Lewis sing, not listening to you talk in our ear. The guy behind me, he was like, oh, okay. You know, and then she was just, she was getting ready to like throw a drink at you or something. Yes, which would not be the first time, but. So we were, we were prepared to stand up and get into a big fight <laughs> and everybody get kicked out of the place. But I mean, we're, we I are tired. I was trying not to punch anyone. We are tired of going to a concert like that and other people ruining our good time. I was, we were so heated that the camera overheated. Camera got hot, <laughs> turned off, I had to change the battery though. But we'll try to wrap this up. Yes. Um, we, we, we wanted to rant about this because it really is something that we get seriously angry about. If and you're standing there watching someone paint a painting, are you gonna just jabber away? It's 
music is art. No, and someone is going to tell you to shut the hell up and yes, get exactly out of there. exactly right. Be quiet and be nice. Why, yeah. why is it so hard to be nice? We just want people to be aware. Be considerate of the people around you yes. when you're at a venue like that. Next it's, person, I'm punching. I'm going to punch them, babe. It's going to happen. It's <laughs> We are going to end up getting in a fight because Abby said it. She goes, I am so tired of people ruining our time that we're just going to go if for it. If they don't want to be there, just go to the bar. Mm -hmm. Come in for your song. Stand down at the bottom. <laughs> talk all you want. I don't want to try to change what the time that people have. I want them to have a good time, but there's a difference between Yeah. Going there to listen to a performer rude. or being there just to hang out with your friends. You can yeah. go out, it was at a casino. Go out to the damn casino mm -hmm. and hang out with your friends and talk, talk all you want out there. Talk as you want. That's if, you're at, if you're in a theater, you don't do it there. There's, yeah. proper, there's proper etiquette to that. And, and can I just make something clear? Yeah. It was not like a few times. It was from the minute that they sat down yep. until the minute that we left. Yep. It was they did. The whole they time. did shut up a little bit after I said something the second time, because we kind of all yelled. But you could tell that they were still giving the f u. Yes. And they were just back there. I was waiting for a drink to come. Oh yeah. Well, the both rows, our row and their row, would have cleared out if that would have happened. Lance was ready to say something to him, and he was like. I was just waiting for something to happen. I was going to jump up and, and help out. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely anyway, could have taken her. We we love Darren <laughs> Lewis. He is a great performer to listen to yeah. live. It's unfortunate that you have to deal with all the drunk idiots around you <laughs> whenever you go to a concert. That's one of the reasons why we I don't like going to a concert because of that. I told Lance, I said, next time we're going to get one of those private boxes up there and I'll split it with you just so that we don't have to deal with people around us. It's just sad. <laughs> it is. It's, it's really sad. sad. So anyway, that that's about what we wanted to talk about. We wanted to, Abby wanted to rant a little bit about the, the uh, concert, but we had, okay. we still had a good time over there in Biloxi, especially yeah. hanging out with Lance and Laura, you know, good friends of ours. Yes. And we're excited about our upcoming camp trips. And I'm excited about that cinnamon roll because I can smell it. Oh cooking. my god, it smells so good. You can smell that cinnamon and that sugar cooking. It smells cooking. so good. I'll give you a shot um, whenever we close this out. I'm going to show you what the cinnamon roll, how it turned out, how it looks. How about that? We're having a weird dinner tonight, really fast. What are we having? Abby, I was going to do some barbecue <laughs> chicken. She was scrolling through Instagram and she goes, Ooh, Ooh. this looks really good. And it was like a biscuit with like a like honey a sausage, glaze on it. Egg and cheese yeah. biscuit with a honey she was glaze. Like, She's I like, can we do this for dinner? That. So we're we're just gonna do biscuits. We're gonna do egg egg and cheese biscuits for dinner. I love breakfast for dinner. Yeah, it's great. We're going in. Yeah. After that's cooked, we're gonna go in. She's watching her basketball. Yes, I We're am. doing the uh, the the it's big March tournament. March Madness. Yeah, March mm. Madness. There you go. All I right. I love it. I'm sorry. We're really gonna quick. we're gonna cut this off. I know it's been a long no, video. No, no. Yeah. I love March Madness. Oh, she does. That's it. She go ahead. She loves her sports. I do. She loves her sports like I like my barbecue and my machines. <laughs> all right, we'll show you the cinnamon roll when it's done, but uh, check out the videos whenever they come out of the uh, all the Arkansas uh, pictures coming up. I can't up. wait to get to Arkansas. I was going to say, sorry, I don't plan on doing a huge fishing video because we already did that last year, but I'm going to have the camera, so if we have any cool highlights of the trip, we're definitely going to get that. But the highlights of the for the channel that I want to do is going to be the two big barbecues at the campsite. That's what I want to share. I wouldn't mind catching a bigger fish than you. I would love for you to catch a big brown <laughs> trout, and I'm going to have the camera for that. If you catch okay, you a big okay, old, okay. a big old brown trout, okay. that's what I was, that's what I was going to get at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get back to finish our beer and finish out the cinnamon roll. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed our little patio chat this time. <laughs> All right, let's check out our cinnamon roll. We've been cooking for 35, almost 36 minutes now. I've uh, twisted the lid once, just rotated it around. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, look at that. It looks perfect. You want to see it? Oh, uh, yes. See, I did good this time. I did not overcook it. I didn't uh, burn the top of it. No, so I it's think it's... Perfect. My God, that smell. Oh, it smells so good. All right. I think I'm going to go about five more minutes on it. And um, we'll probably take it off. That's what I was thinking. It was right around 45 minutes that I cooked it last time. So it's almost done. You ready to try the cinnamon roll? I can smell it and it's killing me. So yes. Yes. 
Looks good. It looks perfect. It looks really good. It's still uh, crispy on the top, but yeah. in a so, good way. Yes. All right. Now, be careful using a knife on your cast iron. You can use it, but the thing is, you don't want to like gouge it and dig in. You just want to kind of just, just bump it. I like what's happening. I'm just trying to cut a little wedge out of it. Yep. Yeah, I want that whole thing. No shame. <laughs> Let me bring it around here. Okay. I apologize the light. The, the bar light has gone out. I got to replace the switch and I haven't done it yet. So. So that looks pretty good. See that right there? Right, here, I'm going to try. Tell me what you think. I'm coming in here. Mmm. That's good. Is it? Mmm. I took too big a piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Mmm. Wow. It's a little bit like um, monkey bread. It is. The pull apart, see? It's kind of like that. Agreed. But you see, we like to roll it in the cinnamon butter and, and sugar and everything with the pecans so that the pecans is like all down in the middle of it but it does still have that crispy crust mm, that was a good bite right there mm. yeah yeah you okay. have a little bit of crisp on the top of it and the inside is nice and moist there's a lot of butter cooked in there to the dough it's good real good i think the folks up there when we're uh camping i think they're gonna like this one i agree it's good turned out great a winner right here. We haven't even had dinner. We might not even have to. <laughs> we haven't even cooked our biscuit yet. <laughs> We're going to get to that in a little while. We just wanted to go ahead and taste this and see how it turned out. It's real good. Yep.